hello friends welcome back to my channel MU exams so friends in this video we will see Marpol and Sola's latest amendments which will be entering or coming into force in 2022 that is 2022 I am covering these two uh, conventions all together because number of amendments are very less so this video uh, will not be that long even if we cover these two conventions so let's begin with this video so friends the first amendment is to the marpole nx6 on sulfur so basically this as per this amendment it adds new new definitions to certain new definitions of sulfur content of the fuel oil low flash point fuel then marpole cleavered samples then in use samples and onboard samples so basically as per uh, this amendment this regulation two uh, new definitions are added to this regulation then the second part of this amendment to the same annex that is marpole annex 6 is on the fuel oil sampling and testing so basically uh, new paragraphs are added to regulation 14 which is the sulfur oxides and particulate matter so this new paragraph uh, is related to in use and onboard fuel oil sampling and testing then the paragraph also one new paragraph is also added which also requires that one or more sampling points are to be fitted or designated for the purpose of taking representative samples of the fuel oil which is being used or carried for use on board ship the representative samples for the fuel oil which is being used on board ship are taken to verify that the fuel oil is in compliance with the regulation so that is why these sampling points are necessary other part which is amended is the appendix 1 and appendix 6 so basically appendix 1 uh, is on the updating international air pollution prevention certificates to add a reference to sampling points and also to note where there is an exam uh, exemption provided for the provision of low flash point fuels and in uh, appendix 6 the fuel oil verification procedure okay friends so basically this appendix 6 covers the verification procedures for the representative samples which is in use or carried on board on board ship now the next amendment is uh, the strengthening of EEDI phase 3 requirements so uh, as per this amendment the uh, the phase 3 uh, requirements of the EEDI will be pre for uh, some specific or some ships like for the general cargo ships LPG carriers and cruise passenger ships the effective date is moved forward from 2025 to 2022 so previously the phase 3 was about to was to come from 2025 but now it will come from 2022 with a reduction rate of 30 percent similarly for the container ships the effective date is uh, again shifted from 2025 to 2022 but uh, but uh, the reduction rate will depend upon the size size of size of the ship as you can see for 10,000 uh, between 10,000 and 15,000 uh, deadweight ton it is 15 to 30 percent reduction rate for 15,000 to 40,000 deadweight ton it is 30 percent reduction rate for 40,000 to 80,000 deadweight ton it is 35 percent reduction rate from 80,000 to 120,000 it is 40 percent reduction rate and uh, from 120,000 to 2 lakh deadweight ton it is 45,000 and above 2 lakh it is 50,000 so this is how the reduction uh, rate depend upon the size of the container ships then for the gas carriers which are above 15,000 the effective date is uh, for, uh, move forward from 2025 to 2022 with a reduction rate of 30 percent and the ships or the LPG carriers which are below 15,000 deadweight ton 
the current effective date is still 2025 with the same reduction rate and for all other shifts which are not specified above it is still the effective date for the phase 3 requirement is still 2025 with us with a with no change in reduction factor or reduction rate so as you can see friends the all, all, all the uh, all these require all these amendments are actually part of uh, marpol nx6 and they are entering into force 1st april 2022 all the amendments which have which we have studied till now the next amendment is on the adjustment of the reference line for the large bulk carriers so basically this edi uh, requirements for the large bulk carriers are too stringent so the amendment of marpol to nx6 so that to adjust the reference line for these large bulk carriers which are more than 279000 deadweight Uh, next is uh, the on the ballast water management convention so friends this is a separate convention this is not a marpol convention but still i am covering it inside this marpol so this uh, the amendment will enter into force from 1st june 2022 so last previous amendments were coming in april will be coming in april 2022 but this amendment will come will be entering into force 1st june 2022 so this uh, basically covers the testing of ballast water management systems and the forms of the international uh, ballast water management certificate so the guidelines basically includes the purpose of commissioning test and sampling and analysis basically this is to uh, validate that the installation of the bwts or ballast water management system is a uh, done properly then uh, this uh, representative samples is analyzed for two size uh, two class two class size organ organisms which are specified in d2 standards that is namely uh, one is for the organisms which are more than or greater than or equal to 50 micrometer and uh, and uh, second class is from 10 to 50 micrometers basically analysis for the microbes are not required as per this amendment and uh, for the solas the amendment is on uh, amendment is on to the uh, imdg code that is international maritime dangerous uh, goods codes so this this amendment will also be entering into force from 1st june 2022 in this amendment basically relates to segregation requirements for the alcoholates then segregation related to liquid organic substances then classification and transport of carbon so following incident involving the spontaneous ignition of the charcoal then classification of un portable tanks for multi mode multi model transport and provisions for the labels so basically this is, uh, this is amendment is on to the imdg code which is part of solas so this was uh, all about marpol and solas amendments which will be coming into force from 2022 mostly uh, for marpol the amendments are into the nx6 and will be coming into force from april 1st april and the ballast water management convention uh, the amendment will come from june and there is just one uh, amendment to solas that is imdg code which will be again entering into force from 1st june so friends uh, hope you have enjoyed this video till then take care have fun